Happy Tuesday, everybody, and welcome to Shore.com, to our live stream for the Shore Creators channel for the brand new revolutionary Nexadyne line of microphones. If you've known Shore for a minute, you've known that we don't really, you know, launch microphones on a whim when it comes to a brand new technology, especially dynamic performance microphones. But this time we have gone above and beyond with our brand new Nexodyne line of mics. So right now you're hearing the Nexodyne cardioid and there's also a super cardioid variant of this same microphone. But what makes this mic so special is something inside of it called Ravonic technology. When we designed this guy here, the KSM-8, we had taken what was already amazing in our Unidyne capsules, which have been around since, uh, you know, 1939, insert random props here. Uh, we took that all down to the base level and started again. Well, we've done it again with the Nexodyne mic, but we, we went to Shure KSM-8 in the middle and created dual dyne technology. And now once again, raising the bar again, constantly innovating, staying fresh, and bringing you the best of the best is our new Ravonic technology. And basically what that means is that instead of having two diaphragms like our KSM-8, it now has two motors. What does that mean? What is a motor in a microphone? Well, to break it down a little bit further, what's a transducer? Because that's really what the motor is. So this microphone has two transducers in it. Transducers are what actually convert your acoustic energy into uh, mechanical energy. And so having two, in this case, in the Ravonic capsule here, it is effectively bringing in all of the things and enhancing all of the things that you want and then rejecting all of the things that you don't. And that has what has allowed us to create the microphone with the best in class handling uh, noise rejection and also the best off axis rejection with our super cardioid pattern. And it really allows your vocals to cut through the mix and be heard. And as a singer songwriter and as a vocalist who plays all kinds of venues, I notice especially how much this has helped my instrument relax and be able to work less and be able to produce the sound that I want without having to do any additional EQ. It's really making your job as the engineer and as the performer that much easier. So the Ravonic technology having those two transducers gives you the ability to cancel out some of the unwanted frequencies and really hone in and narrow in on those vocal tones that you want so that you cut clear through the mix. So who is it for? Nexodyne is really great for professional vocalists who are looking to have that sound that gets done to cut through the mix. Or if you're a producer or an engineer looking to get your vocalists through without having to add a ton of processing to your signal chain, Nexodyne is for you. And you know, you don't have to take our word for it. We've actually gone out into the field for several years because that's one thing that we do at Shore. We take our uh, testing very, very seriously. So we went out to some of the most famous engineers in the world and had them give their feedback to us. Uh, we actually have a really cool video that just went live today that I'm gonna pop in the chat. And this is uh, with our engineers for you to check out to learn more about Nexodyne and the Ravonic technology and why it's so important because we have we have these two transducers. I'm, I'm getting into some, some mic speak, so sorry if you're not into that side of it, but basically what it's doing, it's two precisely balanced microphones, essentially. Um, and in that acoustic network, so the space in between here is a physical space that is allowing you to have those unwanted handling noise uh, frequencies cu cut out and to have the presence of the voice boosted. So boosting the best and taking away what you don't want. So unwanted noise, stage bleed, all of those things that you don't want in your sound, that's what Ravonic and Nexodyne are doing for you. So you're hearing it right now. I mentioned this is the cardioid variant. We also have the super cardioid, which I will pop on here so you can hear the difference. And I can also give you kind of an AB of the other capsules that we have, um, just a few. So, you know, I thought I could step up from the beta, the SM57, sorry. You can see this is mine from many, many years ago. And then I have our beta 58. I also have the KSM8 and the Nexodyne so we can kind of step through. And 
be sure to put those questions in the chat as I'm going along because I can see you and I can, well, I can see your comments and I'm happy to answer those for you. And we're going to be having another live stream just like this one next Tuesday, except I'm going to bring on Mario Ponce and John Bourne, who is in that video that I just linked in the comments section. He helped create this microphone along with Roger Grinnup, who also uh, is in that video. So you need to check that video out to see the history of Nexodyne and why it's so compelling and so unique. But let's hear what they sound like if we do a little comparison. So I'm just going to mute real quick like. Okay, and so this is the super cardioid. It has a very tight pickup pattern. So it's off axis rejection is very good in terms of not picking up what you don't want. So that is the super card pattern. Let's switch it over to an SM57 real quick. So starting with a classic, not one that I would use on my voice necessarily, but still a great microphone, but you can hear the difference. This one has a little bit more warmth in the mid range. And with Nexodyne, it cuts across the mix. Let's go back to the Nexodyne. And back to Nexodyne here. So again, this is the super cardioid variant. There is a cardioid, a super cardioid, and also wireless capsule variants. Um, and just a real quick shout out to the packaging for this beauty. We've gone for a more sustainable approach. And so this is our new Nexodyne packaging in a nice cardboard finish, very sleek and very earth conscious and earth friendly. So it just launched today, just about three hours ago, so brand new. All right, so let's switch it over. Now let me put it over to my Beta 58 here in a second, bear with me. Okay, so this is my Beta 58, still an amazing microphone, still one of the legendary microphones, also super cardioid, it's a great off axis rejection, but you'll hear a little bit more presence on the Nexodyne, not to disparage the Beta 58, it's still a perfect choice for those looking to have their vocals cut through the mix. I've had this microphone for over 20 years and it is still my go-to for live performance, but switching to Nexodyne has allowed me to have a little bit more control over my voice without having to add anything on the EQ side. But Again, as a vocalist, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to try out different microphones for your voice. Because just like any other instrument, voices are all different. So mine might sound fantastic through the Nexodyne Super Cardioid, but maybe yours might sound better through a Beta 58. But this is just to give you a kind of comparison so that you have a real life application uh, to hear the differences. So the Super Cardioid pattern is going to block out any unwanted noise and stage bleed. And with this Ravonic technology, again, if you're just joining, I'm talking about our brand new Nexodyne vocal microphone series. We have a cardioid variant and a super cardioid variant, as well as wireless capsules of both. And because of the Ravonic technology, it's able to have best in class handling noise, fantastic off axis rejection. So stage bleed, extraneous noises, they're not gonna come in thanks to the Ravonic technology of these two motors, these two transducers, perfectly acoustically tuned to block out unwanted noise and enhance what you want to hear so that you can cut through the mix and be heard clearly. So this is a microphone for vocalists. So if you've been looking to change your game, maybe you've had a mic for a while that you saw online and thought, I'll buy this one. This is the one for you to take it up a notch. It's a first in class with this Ravonic technology, best in class in handling noise. Uh, so give it a try where you can, when you can, as soon as you can. It just launched three hours ago and I've been keeping this a secret for way too long because we've been trying it out for several years. And what I was talking about earlier is how we have some great testimonial video content. We also have um, something called Behind the Sound for Nexodyne, which is in the chat. If you wanna take that uh, video and give it a look a little bit later, just cause it's six minutes long. Didn't think you needed to sit through that with me here, but join me next week, next Tuesday, 
same time, same channel, and I'll have John Bourne, who's in that video with me live to talk about how Nexodyne came about, what makes it so special, and what makes Ravonic technology so truly unique to Shore. We just hit our 99th birthday, but that doesn't mean we're old. We're still innovating and constantly coming up with new ways to get your voice above and over the mix. And that's what Ravonic does within the Nexodyne line of microphones. So any questions as I'm chatting at you for the next little few minutes here. I just wanted to come on and do a quick tease um, while the microphone came out today and then let you know that I want you to come back next Tuesday, same time, noon, Eastern time on the Shore Creators channel to watch the more in-depth video with John and get all your questions answered. Um, so that'll be posted as well, but be sure to like and subscribe so that you can be notified when we go live. We go live about once a month on the Shore Creators channel. And we also have a whole slew of videos called How Do You Do That? which are video versions of frequently asked questions. So if you have a question for sure that you want answered, it might be in there for you. So be sure to subscribe to the Creators channel if you can. How do the wireless capsules look? That is a great question, Nicholas. And I thought I had mine here and I actually have my KSM 11 instead because I sent all my capsules out for testing. Uh, but let me pull up a picture real quick so we can see it. It does come in wireless and wired variants, but it looks exactly like this capsule that you're seeing here. This is the super cardioid. This is the cardioid, uh, but in a wireless variant. So let me see if I can pull that up real quick. Again, we just launched this three hours ago. So this is brand new and super excited for all of you to give it a listen and give it a try. If you already have an existing wireless system from Shure that can take wireless capsules, then we have you covered. It comes in black or nickel. Let me pull up the cardioid variant for you right now so you can see that. Give me just one second. All right. Here we go. Okay. And here is that variant for you to see. So that is the RPW200, the cardioid variant. And we also have it in uh, nickel. So you can have that color option if you'd like. So looks exactly the same as this, but has this cool cap on the bottom to keep it protected. And then it will work on any of our additional uh, wireless systems that have that ability to accept capsules. So that's what that looks like. That's the RPW200. And if you're wanting to check that out, you can visit us at shore.com to see that. All right. What other questions do we have? And thanks for that question, Nicholas. Appreciate you. Sorry, it took me a minute to pull it up. <laughs> yes, the nickel is uh, quite fantastic too. Let me see if I can grab that guy so we can showcase it because I don't want to leave it out because if you are a fan of our nickel variants, which my KSM-8 is an example of that, uh, and again, I could tell the story for those of you just joining of how we kind of got to where we are. Just give me a second. Um, basically, we like to keep things different, keep things fresh. I'll show the super cardioid variant of this one this time. So we've made some innovations since 1939 when we first released this one here, the Unidine. This is the anniversary edition, the 5575. Uh, but it hasn't changed much until we went with the dual dyne technology of our KSM-8, which is an incredible microphone. If you're using this, I highly recommend it for a multitude of applications, but for speech applications, especially because of its insanely large sweet spot, which I'll demonstrate. Give me one second. Because I don't want to leave anybody out. The KSM-8 is an incredible piece of engineering and one of my favorite microphones, but this sweet spot on this thing... This is not, it's just bananas, okay? It just makes life so much easier. If you have somebody who doesn't have great microphone technique, this can save you and them. So that's why the KSM-8 is still such a fantastic piece of technology, fantastic microphone. But if you're looking to cut through the mix, try the Nexodyne. Cut through the mix even more, I should say. Back onto my Nexodyne Super Cardioid variant. 
Can I compare with the KSM 11? Unfortunately, Jorge, I cannot because I do not have my wireless setup and KSM 11 is only available as a wireless capsule at the moment. So um, apologies for not being able to do that. But you know what? I will get it set up for next Tuesday so you can hear it. How about that? Fantastic. You'll have to tune in. Paul chiming in. Paul, the sound guy, also one of my pals from Shore. KSM sounds great on brass instruments as well. Excellent call. That is a fantastic, fantastic shout out. So thank you, Paul, for rescuing me there. All right, nickel variant. I was going to show you guys that. So let me pull that up real quick, like one second. This is the joy of live streaming. It's, uh, you know, never a dull moment. You always got to figure things out. All right, here is the variant and super cardio. And you'll notice if you're looking at the capsules and playing along at home that we have a couple things that set it apart. Okay, so cardioid. There goes my boom arm. This is the cardioid. Super cardioid. You can see the differences there. There's some different number of channels um, open exposed on the cardioid as opposed to the super cardioid. And again, just highlighting the packaging because this is a fantastic innovation for us at Shore to make a move away from bulky packaging and move to eco-friendly, sustainable packaging. So this is our brand new packaging for the Nexodyne, and I love it. Pops on the shelves and is good for the environment. So let's do that. Can you take the microphone like wrappers? The response change. Does that mean, Jorge, that is it good for wrappers? I think that's what you're asking. And if so, yes, it is. It has extremely great off-axis rejection and focus on the voice. If you're going to cup the microphone like any other microphone, cupping it will not uh, have it perform to its best potential. Um, but there are some ways to alleviate that. But yes, it can handle any uh, vocal application that you throw at it. But it is primarily for vocalists, singers, rappers, Nexodyne with Ravonic technology. That's what we're talking about in case you just tuned in. So it just launched three hours, 18 minutes ago. I'm going to go live again next Tuesday with Mario Ponce and John Bourne, who helped design this microphone. John is one of our amazingly talented product managers, and he's going to hop on and answer all of your questions even more. Uh, Jonathan asked, not about mics, but anyway, are there going to be new IEMs soon? Great question, Jonathan. At Shore, we're always innovating. We're 99 years old, but we're always changing and growing. So we never know what's coming next, but... Uh, you know, always stay tuned, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can always get the up to date information from us. And uh, you'll be in the know. Any other questions? Oh, hand over the capsule, Jorge. Yes. Yeah, so cupping the microphone. Again, cupping the microphone. You never want to do that. When you cup a microphone, it changes the polar pattern. Um, can this help alleviate it a little bit? But um, there is not a, a foolproof way to alleviate cupping of the mic. So Ravonic technology built into the Nexodyne microphone. That's two transducers, canceling out all the unwanted noise and all the things that you don't want, allowing your voice to be heard clearly through the mix. It just launched today. It's brand new for sure. We don't always launch new microphones, but when we do, it's kind of a big deal. So I hope you will check it out. I am going to put a link in the chat. It is pretty easy to remember. It's just shore.com slash Nexodyne if you want to give it a peek and give it a try. Hey, get it today. It'll ship overnight, free shipping on shore.com. And then, you know, check it out. And the next week we can chat about it. How about that? Because I'm going to be live on Tuesday. So we're going to have more chances to answer your questions, give you more of an in-depth look. I promise I'll have my KSM 11 wired up so we can do a comparison of that, but we'll do some more comparisons, bring John Bourne on to talk about the nitty gritty of how this microphone came to be. But for now, I'm excited to celebrate it. I'm so happy it's out in the world. I hope you'll give it a look. I'm Laura Davidson. Thanks for watching.